So we often say, dog training can save a dog's life. One of the commands that you must teach your dog is the no command. It can actually save a dog's life. You have no idea how many of my clients have come back and told me they've used it in situations and it saved their dogs. It could be if a dog was rushing onto the street. It could be if the dog was trying to eat something that had poison in it. It can be any situation in life. Don't wait for it to happen to then try and teach the command. Always have this command under your belt. You never know when you need to use it. To teach a no command, if you're going to scream and shout at the dog, it's not going to work. I know a lot of you would say, but I already say no to him and we're screaming, no, 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 and he doesn't listen. But that's not the right way to do it. And this is how you can give this command a try. And it doesn't matter what your personality is, whether you can be forceful as a trainer or not, it doesn't matter. This will work for anybody. And this is our first step that we're going to do. So let's give it a try with him. Let's take some treats he wants and put it just outside his reach. What is this? Ready? Yeah, get it. So we wait to see what he's going to do. He's going to try, just make sure he can't get to it. And at some point, what we're going to see is he will relax and step back. Good boy. That's a good boy. If you notice, I'm purposely throwing the treat poorly. I want to throw the treat slightly behind him. If you keep throwing the treat here to give it to the dog, he'll start creeping forward in the exercise, which is something that I don't want. I want the dog eventually saying, when she does give it to me, she has such bad aim, she throws it behind my head. So watch, ready? What do you do? You don't say a word to the dog, just sit and wait. Any unwanted behavior, we're gonna wait through. Got long reach. We wait. As soon as I see a change. Good boy! There you go. So there was a brief pause that he took. I rewarded that. So toss the treat behind the dog. We want the dog to learn the further you stay away the better it is. Good boy! So you can see he stopped trying altogether. He's just waiting for me to do it. Good boy! Where did it go? Yeah. Never mind. Here, 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 here. It's here. Go on. Get it. Here. Get it. There you go. Good boy. Ready? If you notice, I've not said the word no at this point. Ready? I'm going to do it when I get a very firm behavior. And now I think we can. No. Good dog. So no screaming, nothing. Here, 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 here. I know it's gone under. Here, ready? No, good dog. And that's how we introduce the command to the dog. Here, go, go. Ready? No, good boy. As you now keep saying the word no, you need more repetitions of this. We should get to a point where, no, good boy, who's a clever dog? Ready? No, good boy. So when the dog is relaxed, step back, say the word no, because that's the behavior you want. And as you can see, at some point, he'll actually start step stepping back no good boy in anticipation of the treat here and it's as simple as that so we could do that with goku who does enjoy these treats here we go see how he doesn't even want to come to them anymore no good dog so remember toss it behind the dog You'll see he stays further and further away. And as soon as you say the word no, the dog should anticipate that you're going to throw it behind and start moving back. No. Good dog. So a few more repetitions and it's done. And as you can see, it took us very few repetitions with Goku to teach him a steady no command.